In the start of this process, we see a growth factor chemical signal attaching to the receptor protein, which then activates the part of the receptor protein that is in the cell's cytoplasm. Looking closer at the activated part of the receptor protein, we see an adapter molecule shown in green attaching to the activated part. We also see an exchange factor shown in purple attaching to the activated part. This combination then allows the RAS protein to bind and become activated. The RAS protein acts as a switch because it can allow and or prevent the cell signal from being amplified further. The RAS protein then goes on to activate three RAF proteins shown in white, which then go on to amplify the chemical signal throughout the messaging pathway, which eventually leads to cell division. A GTP protein then comes to deactivate the RAS protein. Looking closer at the process, we can see that the GTP protein attaches to the GTPase enzyme, shown in orange, that is embedded in the RAS protein, which tells the RAS protein to shut off. And then the RAS protein dissociates and comes together again for future cell division. These pipe cleaners represent the double helix of DNA, and each bead represents a codon on the RAS protein gene. In the case of pancreatic cancer, the 12th nucleic acid changes from glycosine to valine. This mutation causes the enzyme that is embedded in the RAS protein to become deactivated and denatured, making it impossible for the GTP to bind to it. During the chemical signaling pathway, GTP comes to turn off the RAS protein in order to prevent the continuous transmission of cell division signal. Looking closer, the GTP is unable to bind to the RAS protein because of the denatured enzyme. As a result, the RAS protein remains activated and continues to send out chemical signal to divide. This causes exponential and uncontrollable cell division, which then leads to cancer. The orange dots represent healthy cells, and the white dots represent cancer cells. If these uncontrolled cancer cells go unchecked, they will form tumors, and these tumors will prevent the normal, healthy function of other cells.